Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we'll look at something I've talked about many times, true desire. And I want to put this out there for the ladies and the gentlemen who watch who aren't at their fitness goals. And I think this is just so critically important if you're in this dating landscape. You've got to be fit if you want fit people. Let's get into it. Let me tell y'all about this man that almost, almost had a chance with me. If he was because I haven't heard from you and I thought we hit it off. And he responds to me with some bullshit ass fucking message saying, oh my God. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Friendly gals, you continues. You're too busy when you're literally on Instagram every single day watching and liking my stories. So he just starts apologizing to me. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like it was a miscommunication on my end. I was under the impression that you didn't like to be um, bothered all the time or like you didn't want me to text you. Cause that was one thing I mentioned that I didn't like to text and call all the time. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So she tells him to not contact her so much. So he does it. And then she's like, why isn't this fool contacting me? please you can't please modern women they just are going to complain regardless of what you do often gentlemen and i'm not saying all women that's we're saying these modern lady this this lady's classic modern woman she continues and however if you're just so on thursday my friend invited me to go on a boat with i thought you weren't dating for a while did i miss something I, she said, well, I wasn't, I'm not dating for a while, but you are dating, ma'am. Take it in, Her and like her friends and whatever. We're like living our best lives. I'm like posting on my story and stuff. He's like watching everything, doesn't say anything, but I. Living our best lives by posting stuff on Instagram. Oh, what an exciting life you have, ma'am. Take it in, news. I got some weird, weird gut feeling that he was going to cancel. And I don't know if it was because I'm on a boat and like living my best life or what i don't know i don't know i don't he didn't really give okay so wait she's on a boat living my best life no she's on a boat with some other dudes he probably didn't like that very much ma'am he ladies i get it you it's social proof for a man to have a bunch of ladies around him but it's not social proof for a man you know, of course you can get lots of dudes ma'am so he saw your story that you're on a boat with a bunch of other guys and he got he got turned off by it denny's like insecure but he could have been i don't know so Insecure. There's the shit. <laughs> Hang on. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. Yeah, let me just go around the world with all these other men, and you just you're you're insecure if you don't let me. Let's get the nonsense. So on dating delusions, we always start the great profile. There's a great profile today, and she's 22. Now I don't often show these younger ladies anymore because, well, the demographics of my channel, you you guys generally don't like the younger lady episode, so. But I just want to show this profile because it's a good profile, regardless of if this were even a 45-year-old lady or 55-year-old lady, just the way it's constructed. And her pictures tell the story. She has great pictures. She writes a couple things. Ladies, you can argue about it all you want. If you find the channel, you cannot sit here and build RoboMan a listing all your requirements into your dating profile. And she doesn't say anything about height requirements. Fantastic. Here's a nice picture. She's sitting on a pumpkin. It's just a sweet picture. This is a, her pictures aren't the highest quality. It's, I don't know why they're so great. Yeah, maybe, maybe the type of camera she used, but she says, my real life superpower is parallel parking. Man, that's fantastic. <laughs> Here's another cute picture. She's in a dress. She's smiling. And this is, the, I just love this picture. It, it, it kind of seems fun and flirty. It's exactly what men want. That is correct. Her final picture. She doesn't say she has dogs. She just has a picture of their dogs. She's got way too excited about learning. Ma'am, that's fantastic as well. <laughs> Just sweet things. She's in her SMVP, and this was so funny. This lady could have a lot of, lot of requirements, but doesn't anyway. Mammy, get a round of applause. <laughs> and that lady is going to generate true desire. She's fit and attractive, and that, that's where we're going to get on this point today. If you're not on your purpose, if you're not fit, you're just not going to get the type of people you want, regardless of how successful you are. And of course, it's much easier for men. But as we know, that profile is very rare. Let's get it nonsense. So this lady's 43 and she says, disclaimer, yelling at us. Reading is fundamental. You will listen to every damn word I have to say. Yeah. Great. That goal regulation size are one. Ladies, we're not here for it. Get this yelling out of your profile. She continues, do not play games with me. I don't do ghosting. 
the gayest show in the fucking world. Ghost Hunters! <laughs> Interrogations. No friends with benefits. No jerks. No narcissists. No racists. No one night stands. No egos. And most importantly, disrespect. Do you lie and disrespect your mammy? Or, here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up! Man, what the hell happened to you? And why would you ever think any man of any with any self-respect would ever swipe on your picture? And look up here. She's got this super blurry picture, not smiling at us. She continues, my profile's for grown men only. No couples or married men, please. Please don't men with hidden agendas. I will snatch your balls off and use them as dice. <laughs> this might be the angriest profile I've ever seen. She continues. Play games with your homeboys, kids, etc. I have zero charge the BS. Ciao. Ma'am, I have this for you. <laughs> I cannot even believe you would even construct a profile like us. We it's not our fault, whatever's happened to you. And ladies. If you're into here into the danger zone. or later and you have attitudes like this, don't date. There's no man that you're going to ever respect who would even react to this. We're not here to save you. And gentlemen, the same way we keep it fun and flirty, regardless of what's happened in your past, you must come on the dating apps, refresh. And if you need a break, take a break. We continue. I find it extremely annoying that fitness is considered a hobby. That being physically healthy, eating clean and exercising is like playing the guitar. It's not, it's not a hobby, nor is it something that you do temporarily to achieve a certain look and then you go back to whatever you were doing before. It should be a basic requirement for being a human. You don't see anyone brushing their teeth until they're white and then stop brushing them for months on end until they're gross and rotting out of your head and then you decide to start brushing again. Yet that's how so many people treat their body. And it's kind of funny because we'll take care of our teeth to to avoid the dental bills, but we won't take care of our bodies to avoid the medical bills. You're a winner. And I'll just keep interjecting some of these videos throughout the, this episode. I, I absolutely believe fitness is critical. A huge passion of mine. I work out several times a week, and I think it's just so critically important that you incorporate this into your lifestyle. And gentlemen, I'm going to task us today. We can't expect fit women if we're not fit ourselves. We have to do the work. And ladies who find the channel, it's the same token. If you're Drastically overweight, you're not gonna get a high value man. There's no man in the world that is gonna be fit and attractive and all the things you want and deal with someone who's grossly overweight. So it's a it's a massive bunch of these. Red flag. So let's say he's 46, says, wait a minute, over, take me to Disney World. We just sat on a plane for three hours to come to Florida, God's waiting room, for who knows what Oh, oh, Disney World! Disney World! Disney World! Oh, oh, I want to go to Disney World! Oh, oh, Disney World! Disney World! You gotta grow up! Ma'am, you're 46 years old. Why would a man do it? Why would you even ask for this up front? Someone to take you to Disney World and they're just so good at asking for what they want. And ladies who have profiles like this, this is like when you read guys' profiles talking about bedroom fun in their profile. It's just the same thing when you're asking for things. She continues. She then says, like, life goal of mine is sightseeing adventure in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man we're not here to do this we're not here just to take you on trips ladies she wouldn't even go off that dude if he until he mentioned that he was gonna whisk her around the world it's it's just all based on this 100 billion dollars we continue <laughs> you carry your butt to the gym four times a week. Why does this matter? Because high value men, they're out there working 10, 12, 14 hour days. These guys tend to work out. There's a correlation. These guys are early risers, hard workers. They tend to work out and be in, in some sort of shape. They gotta be an athlete for life. You cannot be an un, out of shape woman and qualify to get a high value man. I'm sorry, ladies, this is just how it is. You can be cute in the face, but if you are thick in the waist, you will not get a, you will, they will not take you seriously for a wife. And gentlemen, you know, ladies control the bedroom fun market. So if you want bedroom fun, 
you've got to get fit yourselves to even get in there. And then, of course, you can decide what lady you want. And I'm telling you, once you start doing it and you change your attitude about exercise and diet, you're going to feel so much better and so much more confident. And I get it. There's tons of men on the sexual market, but I think a lot of those guys aren't fit. And, you know, two thirds on both sides, two thirds of the country are overweight right now. And it's an epidemic on these apps that overweight people wanting you know fit people it's just never going to happen we continue so she's 47 in corporate finance says I, one thing you should know about me is i have three children 9 12 and 13 and two dogs how about new why would a man do it ma'am why would he swim through all this to get to you leading with this i'm not saying don't talk about your kids but we it's just a net negative for most men to have to swim through three kids where does he fit into this ma'am i will make time when it's needed i will only prioritize those who prioritize me that's simple and fair <laughs> ma'am i don't think you have any time to date with three what uh, two teens basically and a younger kid you just don't have time to date ma'am you don't a man wants to be a party why would he prioritize you to maybe get you to prioritize him and I've seen even single fathers saying they don't swipe on single moms like this. They don't want to deal with it. So, ma'am, I would tell you, wait till your kids are grown. But, and this is another thing. She had kids so much later in life. Man, ladies, if you get past 30 and start ha plopping out kids 35, 36, and then break up with your husband, an older guy who's already have who had kids in his 20s is not going to want to deal with it. Believe me or not. She continues. Then says, I won't shut up about anything. Let's face it. I'm a woman, and that's what we do. Watch your mouth. Damn. You shut up! You shut up! <laughs> just don't understand. I really don't understand why you'd lead with this. Why you think this was an enticement. She just talks about her kids, her dogs, and then that she won't shut up. Jacob Daniels, I'm emotional and passionate and filled with a wide range of goofy weirdness. Men are starting to value peace over p If this woman is not bringing you peace, send her back to the streets wide range of all your emotions i mean this is just not a good deal for him the issue is as well ladies are only swiping on one in 16 profiles she thinks she can be picky ma'am any man who would deal with that you have three kids and two dogs and that you don't shut up all the time would be a good deal for you we continue so we met off of hinge which to this day he's the only guy i've actually ever met off of that app Red flags didn't really start popping up until the third date, so I'm just gonna kind of fast forward to the third date. So the first red flag was we never had a discussion about who was paying for things. Like, I'm always gonna assume that a man's gonna pay. That's just me though. But I was trying to be overly understanding of his circumstances. Like, he was a grad student, didn't have a job, like da 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 da. That <laughs> then why should he have to pay, ma'am? See, ladies, if you're gonna say men have to be old school traditional chivalrous gentlemen then you need to be traditional too ma'am you are this that's a huge bitch you're not traditional at all if you can't watch your own diet why would he do it ma'am why would a man invest in you and then, again i wasn't overly concerned until the third date because first date and second date he pretty much paid for everything um and so you know i i w wasn't really concerned it would have been so much different if he would have been like, this is where I'm at, do you mind going Dutch? Instead of me just like figuring out that I'm gonna have to pay my way through this entire date. And also on the third date- Oh, poor modern women. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeah, you have to contribute something to the to the date, ma'am. Oh my goodness. How are you ever ever survive? Ma'am, would you go out to dinner yourself? Do your girlfriends pay for your meals? I bet they don't. Jake and News. He was like, what are you looking for? I'm assuming something more long term. And I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, me too. But I'm also dating other people. And I'm like, hmm, if you were dating less people, you'd have more money to go on dates. I didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking, right? And the second rev Yeah, ma'am, because he's not taking you seriously because you don't take yourself seriously. Ladies, if you're drastically overweight, your life isn't together. Your life is not perfect. You need to get on your purposes as well. And I'm saying this to both ladies and gentlemen. If you're drastically overweight, the opposite sex is not gonna generally want to be in a relationship with you. She continues. Flag was, um, he like brought up two other girls that he had dated in the past. Like nothing intimate or personal, but we were talking about like different subjects and then he'd be like, oh yeah, this girl I dated blank. And I'm like, why are you bringing up other girls right now when you're on a date with me? Like I thought that that was maybe his way of 
me trying to like him trying to volunteer information about his dating experiences so i would volunteer for information about my dating experiences but it was just like the wrong way to go about it i was really attracted to him i thought he was really interested in it interesting and charming and i wanted to give him a chance and so uh on the third date i go back to his apartment we start hanging out me <laughs> i got a whole freezer full of popsicles Mm. Oh, we definitely know who <laughs> pumped and dumped this lady. She continues. He out a little bit and he stops and he's like, I don't want to pressure you. You don't have to do anything you're not comfortable with. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. That's respectful. But then like fat girl thinking, I'm like, hmm, are you saying that just to try and get me to be comfortable to have sex with you? Or are you actually being genuine? She acts like it's something she can't control. Ma'am, you can control what you eat. You don't have a disability. I, I don't understand this viewpoint of, I wish there was something I could do about it. Stop eating so much. You're goddamn right. So this is where it fizzles out, right? So he's walking me back to my car and I had a trip to New York coming up. Um, so he's like, let me know when you're back in town and we can make plans. And I'm like, okay, great. So I get back into town after the week I was gone. I was like, hey, I'm back in town. And he sends me this text and he's like, I didn't really feel natural chemistry. I would like to part ways. Thanks for those couple dates though. And after some reflection, I can confidently say that he was a bullet dodged. And I think we just fundamentally- He was a bullet, this <laughs> dodges copium, ma'am. Chad got what he wanted and sent you back on the street, ma'am. That's all this is, it's not very complicated. And ladies, you do the same thing. And that's why I say, gentlemen, true desire is important. Leading with your money. They're just never gonna have real desire for you. That's why you have to, we can't change how tall we are. We can't change those kind of things. We certainly can change what our body looks like. We can get fit. So this lady's 53 years old and says she's an empath and mother of geniuses. I'm a genius. Who says this about their kids? I mean, you've seen I love my kids, but mother of geniuses. <laughs> right. Take it in news. Mermaid. Don't listen to her. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Mermaid, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you're 53 years old. You're in here. Into the danger You're no mermaid. And they, once again, gentlemen, I've said this, ladies just can't think that they're average. They have to feel like they're special, that they're something unique. Well, you're not, ma'am. You're just an average chick and you're gonna get an average type dude and they can't do it. Dick Daniels, poet, peace, love, and fur babies. Oh! good for you so once again she's got cats and dogs and, and kids running around and you have to swim throughout to get to her well ma'am most men are not are gonna do it they're not gonna do it ma'am they men want a good deal for them they want to be a priority in your life and especially when you're if you're so empathic ma'am you wouldn't write a profile like this you can we continue sex fantasy searches by men and women men go for visual imagery but women go for story and the story is the same it's you know, innocent young woman uh, with a lot to offer, but kind of hidden. Find some male, five categories of men, vampire, werewolf, pirate, surgeon, billionaire. And he's, you know, kind of an aggressive guy, but he's capable of being tamed into an intimate relationship. That's the standard female pornographic fantasy. And it's pretty much the standard fantasy of romance. Yeah, and this, the comments I found on this TikTok were fascinating. There were so many ladies going, don't tell them, don't tell our secrets. So I crave excitement. And, you know, gentlemen, I get it. Some of you were like, well, I don't want to do all that. And I, that's fine. You don't have to. But if you want genuine desire from a lady, fitness is key. But also, certainly, you go through their mind to get to their <laughs> bedroom fun parts. Anyway, let's get into today's comment. Today's comments from Chris and says, the 52-year-old woman who was looking for younger fit men, this is from last episode, is someone who just lost 50 pounds. I have done personal training on the side for 20 years, and these women honestly believe that the only thing standing in the way of the SMV they had in their 20s is the weight. They lose down to their goal and stupid stuff like this. It's honestly heartbreaking. Most of the time they get disappointed and gain back all the weight they spent years shedding. Brother, a round of applause. I'm saying get on your purpose, gentlemen and ladies. Get fit, but that doesn't mean you're gonna get gorgeous young Chad. And it is different for men and women because ladies, you care about resources, most men don't. So yes, they can go date a young woman and take her around the world, and but there needs to be a, still a fundamental level of desire or she's just never gonna say. Now, you're gonna say, gentlemen, you're gonna go, well, hypergamy is hypergamy. It is, I, I'm not denying that hypergamy will still exist, but 
if she sees you as her Chad, not necessarily Chad, but there are ladies that get snapped up off these these uh, apps, and it's not just always with Chads. Brother, thanks for the comment. We continue. Would you date him? No, he's fat. And that um, that hurt, you know. And I think that just that flipped this switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you. Watch this. <laughs> You see it right there. That dude was a big boy, and now he's he's Giga Tyrone, handsome dude. I don't know how tall he is. He's gonna generate real desire. Of course, he's young, gentlemen. I get that. If you're older, but still, even if you're 50s, 60s, 70s, if you're fit and attractive, I mean, and I get Arnold Schwarzenegger's you know famous, but he's still ripped. There's no reason you can't do it. If you're sitting on the couch and not listening, I love it. I appreciate you watching, but it is time to. Get fit if you're again, if only if you're that way. If you're obviously if you're already there, this is uh you, I'm preaching the choir. We continue. So this lady's 54. It says mom to two adults and a fur baby. Granny to three little ones. <laughs> you know, ma'am, there's an old song by Kenny Rogers, you know, called The Gambler. You know when to hold him, no one to fold him. Ma'am, you don't put all your cards in the table like this. It's just so unattractive to do this. Why would he do it? Why would a man come in and swim through all this crap to get to you? We want to know you, ma'am. Men don't want to be immediate grandfather. They just don't want to do it. Unless you're swiping on men 20 years older than you who maybe wouldn't mind this. But men around your age aren't going to do it, ma'am. Good news. World Traveler. I'd like a Mexican cruise. Well, let's I see what's up there. Nice. Go for okay. it. Okay, let's go for the Mexican cruise. No whammy. Stop. Oh. oh. Ma'am, how are you world traveling with all these kids and grandkids running around and all these in the dogs? I, I don't understand how you do it. I, I got it. Red alert. We have a world traveler almost every episode. I just don't believe it. I don't believe you can be traveling all the time. Day news. Writer. Hopeful. Romantic. Lover of life. Adventurer. I love when girls are like, I want someone to go on adventures with me. Relax, Dora the Explorer. Going to Target at 10 p.m. is not an adventure. Thinking news. Boxer. Single but taking applications for my person. Want the job or not? How's the pay? Not great. Man, men are not going to apply to date you. You've got to go get that man. The men you want. Again, your ladies are only swiping on 6% of profiles. You will have to compete for that man that could do all this, that would deal with all this. She continues, I love depth, intellect, and soulfulness. What? Man, what is soulfulness? She continues, I love all kinds of music, especially blues and love dancing. I love red wine, but not in excess, and I'm a true foodie. Nope. Yep, it just sounds like you want this, ma'am. Why make trillions when we could make billions? That's why I box so I can eat and not get so too fat. Man, that shouldn't be why you box. I'll take a step back. I've had ladies say this kind of stuff to me on dates. You know, I, I'm just so food motivated. I'm so food motivated. It's, it's just not attractive, ladies, that if you're food motivated, maybe if you're just super, super fit, but if you're not super fit and you're just talking about how you just can't wait to eat all the time or I only exercise to eat, it's that's not the reason to do it. You want to generate desire from your men. I jump out of planes. Love roller coasters and love walks at sunset or in the park midday. Wow. 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 Pam, I get it. You're trying to convey that you're have a very exciting life. But generally the men around your age are don't look for ladies like this that are gonna constantly want excitement because that's just your whole profile talks about all the things you want adventuring and jumping out of planes and all this crap just a couple things and then meet the men but she's just she's been disappointed by the men she meets because they don't understand the sexual market they just don't they want men younger than an often or their same age and then she, of course she's five ten so i'm guessing the guy has to be six foot or taller 
Good luck to you, man. We continue. When a woman has a genuine desire for a man, it creates in her an attitude concerning sex that she wants to be pleasing to him. Her desire is flowing to him in a sense. Her desire is for him. That doesn't mean that she'll be totally in the mood 100% of the time. However, if that man initiates intimacy and she's not totally in the mood, there's still a sense of urgency because her desire is for him. She wants to be pleasing to him. She won't be putting it off until after dinner or after they do the grocery shopping or whatever. And there won't be any kind of take it or leave it attitude. She wants to please him. If she does not have a genuine desire for this man, she may still enjoy sex somewhat. But if she's not totally in the mood because her desire is not so much for him, but her desires more for her own needs, he will be met much more often with, we'll do it later, after the groceries, after whatever. And if she does accept that intimacy, it will often be with a take it or leave it attitude. So she is 36 in supply chain analytics and says, about me, hello, future husband. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I don't know about that, ma'am. And you won't believe where this profile goes. I'm currently dating with intentions of marriage. Okay, ma'am, but you should have been here years ago. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. She wants a family down there. She got this. I'm a PhD. The news. I enjoy building a foundation of friendship and being intentional. Yes, yeah, she wants you to wait for bedroom fun. Oh, hell no. The news. Please, consistent communicators only. And ladies, you keep putting this word, consistency. If a man thinks he's getting a good deal, he will be very consistent with you. If he doesn't think he is getting that great of a deal or doesn't care that much, then he's not going to be consistent. And we're gonna see in a moment why no one's being consistent with her. She continues, it's just a terrible picture in a bathroom, which I've said so many times not to do, and says, we'll get along if you're not selfish and you respect women's basketball. Ladies, if you could just support the WNBA the way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body and is no longer a threat to you, that league would be doing better numbers than the NBA. Oh my God, that's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Oh my God, you're a goddess. You're gorgeous. You look great, that bikini. I would kill myself if I looked like that. Keep eating, keep eating. If you saw an alcoholic, we'd be like, oh my God, look at you. You're face down, passed out. Your kids are crying. You're... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a man who cares about women's basketball. You just don't get it, do you? Check it in, news. <laughs> you could just see her up there. <laughs> I'm not negotiable and being on her team. Ma'am, you have to inspire this. These just terrible pictures. She looked far better than the other one in the bathroom selfie. But ma'am, if you want a family, then you need to be what a man wants and it's someone he wants to have a family with. Look at this next picture. I mean, she... <laughs> I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes. So that's why no one's being intentional, ma'am, because she's 5'11", what, she's three, 400 pounds. And she says, let's break dating stereotypes with being intentional while dating. Ma'am, it's just not gonna happen. You're gonna have to get fit before a man is going to give you a relationship and put babies in you. Believe me or not, we can you. Do you want to know what the gateway drug is to success? The gateway drug to success is fitness. I'm talking physical fitness. If you're after mental fitness, financial fitness, and emotional fitness, physical fitness is the thing that you can control the easiest or what's going to open up doors in all other fucking aspects of your life. So make sure you lock it in. You're a winner. There you go. You know, if you're not on your purpose right now, this is the perfect time to do it. Get to the gym. Start eating better and you'll see success will happen in other st phases of your life as well. You'll just, the confidence you'll feel once you're fit yourself and the ladies will come. Let's get the final profile. I try to show just like the good profile today. I try to show a wide variety of nonsense in these profiles as well. And this is just a, we've seen a few like this with just these awful pictures. Here we go. So she's 50. And she has nothing written in her whole profile. She just has terrible pictures. Ladies, this is not the way to do it. This was her first, first picture in her car. She continues. This was her next picture. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Ma'am, don't put too much effort in your profile. Her next picture. Damn. Ma'am, do you have no friends? You have no one who just take a picture of you? Hmm? She continues. <laughs> Ma'am, this doesn't tell us anything about you. It's just a bunch of super close-up selfies. How can we know what you look like? We don't see your whole body. 
And gentlemen, this is why I'm saying, and we have to be better in these days. I've said this so many times. If your profiles are like this, go out, buy a suit, get some friends to take pictures of you. That's the way to go. We have to be better and more enticing because again, ladies control the bedroom fund markets. You're not gonna even get into that situation. Like you, you can't skip to a relationship to get to even to the bedroom fund. Our pictures have to be on point. This lady could probably still get swiped from Sims. And then her final picture, it's just her riding a horse, man. It's a bunch of this. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. Now this for you. That'll end it there for today. Thank you again for watching the episode of Dating Illusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you did like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe now. It's free to do and really helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.